Hey everybody, Troy from the Do It Yourself World. We have been busy, busy today until the rain came. We have been cleaning out the yard. Spoiler alert, oops, there's something coming soon. We have been getting rid of all the wood in the entire yard. All of this is going away, except for this row. All these pallets here I broke down from the firewood piles in the middle. All the firewood that was piled up all over here is getting processed. And plus the six face cord of wood I've brought home recently is almost all processed. And it's been a family job. I didn't grab the camera because it, it was, <laughs> we were working hot and heavy, hot being one of the key things. It was hot this morning. So you can see where the pallets were, this whole row, and uh, all the way out to there. But so all these, all these I did today, all the way up, and got a lot of wood stacked. Doesn't look like much now, does it? But we've been stacking all the wood, moving them off of here, sorting as we go into what goes where. We've been working in the garden, all the mulch. Uh, the girls are raking up all the mulch, um, tree bark and junk from the ground, and taking it in to the garden area, spreading it there. And then also even here, I have been busy at work and moving logs over oops i left my can't hook out in the rain getting logs over here remember there was logs here and there was logs all over here and it's till the thunder and lightning pushed me away which is coming again soon i'm rolling up logs in front of the mill getting them lined up i got three more to go i'm gonna get them going and we're gonna saw them out so that i can make lumber for my projects around the property that we have to do. But all of this, all of this, and all of that, and everything here is going to be gone. Everything. Everything is getting out of the yard. We're going to have a completely spotless yard, probably tomorrow. So, um, those are sold, by the way. I still haven't delivered them because they froze in that one. And that one are getting out of here soon. Tomorrow, maybe. Maybe. See how it goes. I got all this oak cut up. That was a big tree. Big. Big oak. That was one log. What a nightmare that was. Chris and I hauled it in. We were going to do some sawing last year, but... And that too big a job for us to haul. That was too heavy. That was just killer. And the availability of the logs at the time where I was working to get good oak was not enough. So that's where it laid. Anyway, that's going to be firewood soon. That's been out here drying in the sun. Doing a good job of it too. So that's going to get uh, split probably tomorrow. And that'll be gone. We're getting it. This, this whole yard, this whole area here. All of this should be cleared out tomorrow. From here... All through here and all through to here, all of this will be done tomorrow. It's been a lot of work. A lot. We're all hurting. We're, we're all... It's only 3.30 in the afternoon and we're done. We are destroyed. So, um, and it's, it's just a brief break in the thunderstorm, so good time to quit. But yeah gonna be a big difference just wanted to share what we have done and there's something special right there is the roof to the little greenhouse we finally got it we were at a garage sale and uh, well I had one sheet before and we got all those other pieces and I think we have enough to do that very 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 good news and then um, I'm going to frame this in with windows from now on. Um, all that and that sidewall and the front is all going to be windows. Uh, no more trying to mess around with plastic. I'm going to frame it in right. That's part of the lumber 
that I'm going to be making will be for this. Over here, I'm doing something exciting. It's something I talked about a while back, but I got busy selling firewood, and that took all of my time and energy and health. It was brutal. I don't think I'm going to be doing that again. The firewood, oh, that was brutal. Trying to do that in the winter months in the snow. Um, I'm going to process firewood all year long, all, all through the uh, three warmer months, and not try to do it in the winter anymore. But I'm getting back to this stuff here. And these are the batteries that I bought. I mentioned them before, and I've got the materials to make off-grid solar power battery banks for expanding our capabilities on the homestead. And what these are, these are Neato robot vacuum cleaner batteries. And they're just a battery pack that I don't know if they were used or not. They don't look like they've been used, so they're probably surplus. Um, looks like they were slid in. Who knows really what their history was. But these are from BatteryHookup.com. And um, that's where I get my surplus batteries. Let me give you a brief look here in the corner. Actually, let me take the camera off the tripod and show you the batteries. Over there is a massive different batteries stacked up. I've got probably uh, five to 10,000 batteries. All right. Now, um, if, you know, if you're careful in your handling of them, they're generally quite safe. There are certain ones that you have to be careful of that were known to be defective. And over here is a battery that you've seen before. I've got it charging up on my Bedini motor. That is a 12.6 volt, 36, 32 amp hour battery pack that I made out of um, phone cells. And it's charging up through my Bedini just because I'm experimenting. But anyway, there are, I've got thousands of these in boxes put away based on their type. But what I got going on right here is I'm going to start putting together the solar powered battery banks for my soon to be fully off the grid workshop in the garage. And um, I've got some down here that are already charged and I've got some there that are actually those are 14 volt battery packs but they're low power so I'm going to be putting them together to, in, in um, pairs and uh, charging them up and then hooking them up and I'm going to build myself a very powerful power wall but right now I'm concentrating on these because they are 18650s. They are absolutely perfectly in the shape and size and form that I want. They're 14 point, um, 14 point four volts battery packs at uh, 4.2 amp hours, which is a pretty good amount of power. And um, actually, if I took a couple of these together, it would run my e-bike briefly. Um, two of these together would give me 8.2, so probably four to six, eight of these battery packs would run my e-bike. That is cool. Um, but I'm gentle on my battery, so I would probably go way more than that in uh, a pack for the e-bike. Anyway, the point is, I am preparing these by experimenting. What I've done is i found out which wires is which. Here's the original battery as it comes. And I'm experimentally finding out which wires is which. There's a red is the main positive. And then there's two ground wires. And I'm just snipping them off. And then under the cover here is the original electronics, which actually still works. That's a protective circuit, which still works. And then I'm rerouting the positive wire out one side. And the ground wire out the other side. Now I'm just going to snip these wires, the unused ones, off the circuit board. Close this back up. And I have absolutely perfect battery cells, battery packs, plus and minus wires with a protective circuit already there. I don't have to do anything else unless I want to add um, a protective circuit overall to limit the current. Although they each, they limit their current to about, um, actually I don't know the, the, the circuitry in here, but it should be one or two amps per um, cell. On these thin wires, I would assume it can't be more than that. So I'm going to guess that it's already got current limiting built in. But I might put an overall current limiter on the battery pack. So I'm going to start doing that. That'll be a separate video, but I wanted to give you a little teaser. 
and um, that'll be on my um, some of that the experimentation parts of this will be on my electronics channel how I um, go from a battery pack like this to opening it up and figuring out what's what and then running the wires and charging them and bringing them back um, from sleep mode they're in a sleep mode uh, all that's on my electronics channel so you can go check that out I'll put the link down below here I'm gonna be building an actual big battery wall on this channel um, because that is more DIY putting together the cells anyway it'll be a mixed match I'm gonna be doing a little cross posting back and forth but I wanted to share with you what I'm doing recently in my colder uh, morning hours of the days here at the almost fully off the grid homestead.